Hey, my name is Paul Jackson Jr. and I love J. Ross TV. Right on, right on. You got one of your reporters for J. Ross TV, his nephew out here. We in LA with the great Paul Jackson Jr. Where? No. There he is right there. There he is right there. And I asked this man uh, this question earlier because uh, every time I hear your name, they say your whole name. Tell me how that happened. Um, what happened was this bass player with Herbie Hancock for years named Paul Jackson. And so, not to get confused with him, I would always say, my name's Paul Jackson Jr. So people would know, okay, it's not the Herbie's bass player, it's somebody else who ended up being the guitar player. So that's how it's Paul Jackson Jr. <laughs> so they never get your name wrong on the check. Hopefully not. <laughs> tell, tell, tell people everything about you, man. Tell them where you're from, how long you've been playing, how many albums on. Your resume long, we know, is extremely long. So just kind of like, give us a service on it. Talk to us. Well, I'm born and raised in South Central Los Angeles. Okay, no, sorry, 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 forget that. No, born and raised in South Central Los Angeles. Uh, went to USC for uh, studied music performance there. and uh, Lord blessed and got saved when I was 17 in the home of uh, Dr. Frank Wilson. And actually he started using me on recording sessions. And like I said, the Lord blessed and ended up working with a lot of great people and uh, making some solo records and got nominated for a Grammy. And, and just been been having a lot of fun, just enjoying the ride the guys giving me. Right now, I'm playing guitar five days a week on the Tonight Show with the Ricky Minor Band, and and having a great time. What advice can you give young musicians right now? This that's looking to follow in that same footstep. Two things is you will never master your craft. Don't get discouraged. There's always something else to learn. Always something else to learn. Um, when you say you got a guy named like Christopher Parkening, who's an amazing classical player. You got a guy like Steve Vai, who's an amazing rock and roll player. Then you got a guy like John Jubal Smith, who plays everything. But none of them play anything like the other one, but all of them play the same instrument. You realize that there's always something to learn. So don't get discouraged. There's always something to learn. Learn as much as you can and continue to learn. Because the day that you figure that you've arrived and you've got everything, then that's the day you should stop because you've stopped learning. That's one thing. The other thing is that God is no respecter of persons. So if you see somebody famous, somebody working with a famous artist, somebody working with a famous ministry, somebody, you know, whatever, realize that God is no respecter of persons, that if he could, that person can do it, he or she can do it, that means that you can do it as well. So don't get discouraged because if that person was allowed to do it and had the opportunity, God will allow you to do the same thing. Okay, I love it. Now this is my personal question. Okay. You know, see now, now see, I'm a quartet dude. Name your favorite quartet artist. Soul Seekers. Ugh. Outside California. Oh, um. Mississippi. Oh, God. Alabama. Uh, Lee Williams. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's see here. Name your favorite. Name some of the guitar players you looked up to. You know, you named three. Oh, looked up to? Yes, sir. Or look up to now? Look up to then, now, okay. and going to. Still West Montgomery. Still George Benson, still Earl Clue, uh, let's see, still Steve I, uh, Al McKay, Ray Parker Jr., like I said, John Jubu Smith, uh, Spanky Alfred, of course. Um, okay. Who else? Gosh. Man. Trivia question, what quartet album does Spanky play on? He did a lot with Mighty Clouds of Joy, but... In Mississippi? I don't know. Oh, can't spiritual. <laughs> I knew it. Can't spiritual. Okay. Can't, right. Can't, right. It's a can't spiritual. Okay. Let's, and let's see here. Last question. Last question before we uh, you gave advice. So it's good favor, good talk player. Tell us what you want to tell J. Ross TV. Uh, Anything you want to put out there. I'm just happy to be here. Happy to still be doing uh, what I'm what God sent me to do 35 years ago. And uh, David said, I, I was young and I'm old, and I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor seen out begging bread. And I've seen that true in my own life. The uh, Bible says that God will restore the years of the locust ate. I've seen that in my own life. So, I, like I said, I'm just really enjoying the ride. I'm enjoying what, what the Lord has for me and what he's given me and what he has in store for me. So, I'm having a good time. That's what's up. Now, how can people get a hold of you as far as like getting a hold of your albums? You got a Facebook page, Twitter, right. you got all that website. Let's get all that information. Facebook page, you know, Facebook slash Paul Jackson Jr. Uh, Twitter at Paul Jackson Jr. Uh, the CDs are on on iTunes or on CD Baby. Uh, last CD was called Lay It Back, Lay It Back, and uh, we're going to do one now with Jeff Lorber, so that'll be out in a few months. And so, you know, look for me. Like I said, uh, Amazon has them, iTunes has them, CD Baby has them. So. Uh, yeah, look for me out there, and, and like I said, five days a week on The Tonight Show, and uh, 
hopefully soon coming to a city or down near you. Right on, man. We appreciate it, man. With Paul Jackson Jr., man, humble cat, humble cat, and a killer guitar player. Uh -oh. Man, we thanks, man. Appreciate you, man.